So we're in Utah, not very far into Utah, and uh, we pull in for some gas in the middle of nowhere. It's like an Exxon slash 7-Eleven. There's nothing else there. Uh, and so we're fueling up and, you know, I'm doing the windows and um, there's this uh, woman at, at the next uh, pump next to ours and she asks, uh, she asks me, oh, you know, can, can I show you something for a second? And I was like, uh, okay. And uh, so I go over and um, she's got the, the hood up on her car and something green is spurting out the side. Radiator fluid. Yeah. So it was radiator fluid. So not being an expert in such things, I call over John, who knows more about such things. Um, and uh, then we set to work trying to help out this person. So yeah, your uh, the uh, reservoir of radiator fluid was had a crack uh, near the top, and it was of course it's under pressure, so it's spurting out fluid. So you know we do our best to stop the leak as much as we can. Send her in to buy some duct tape. John uh, straight up puts his thumb up. right on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just radiator fluid. It's not gonna. I mean, it's hot, but it's not. At that point, it was not, you know, the searing hot that radiator fluid usually is. Um, and I didn't really touch the fluid so much as the, as the case, uh, or the, the reservoir itself, just to see if I could stop the leak. And, it, and you put, put the pressure on it, and it does abate quite a bit, uh, enough for us to be able to wipe the thing dry to get some duct tape on it, uh, and then kind of keep that sealed enough, enough so she can keep driving to, uh, where did she say? California. California, uh, to, for a job interview. Uh, she's gonna get there. It's not that not that huge a problem, I don't think, as long as her car didn't start overheating, which I doubt it's going to. I think the patch job we did on it is gonna be fine until she can get it like fully repaired. That reservoir needs to come out, new one needs to go in. She actually started her day similar to where we did because we started uh, in Denver. She started east of Denver by about 140 miles east of Denver, Denver yeah. I think she said. And by about two and a half hours before us, too. Yeah, she started out at like 5 a.m. We started out at 8.30 this morning, and we ended up at that gas station at the same time. So, it was interesting. The duct tape that she got didn't feel like its usual stickiness. And so when we when John first applied it, it wasn't adhering great. Um, we had dried off the surface as much as we could and then applied the duct tape right away. I say we, I mean John basically. Uh, you know, I brought, I brought towels, I helped. <laughs> um, and so it wasn't adhering great, but then John had the great idea of getting some sort of cool water that we have here that we've just been drinking. Uh, to pour it on to uh, sort of help the heat abate and help it adhere better. And it actually worked like a charm. Like instantly I could tell that it was it was sticking on better as soon as you did that. So that was that was pretty effective. Um, so I mean that is kind of a road trip tip is having duct tape because she's lucky that she encountered and discovered that at a place that had duct tape for sale where she went and was able to buy some while John and I were holding the leak uh, closed. Uh, you know, I, I have a handkerchief on me at almost all times, so I was using that to hold it closed without, you know, it being too warm. And, uh, uh, and John had some paper towels that we grabbed from the squeegee <laughs> at the pump. So uh, having duct tape for a road trip is actually a really good idea because there's a multitude of problems that it can solve, at least temporarily, until you can get a proper replacement, a proper fix in place for whatever it is, get you to at least a populated area. Um, and so she was, where did she say she was from? Wisconsin? I thought, I thought it was like Michigan or something. I don't remember. I thought it was something with a W. I thought it was with an M. Not sure. Anyway, she's, she's got a long way to go and a short time to get there. <laughs> because it is, uh, it was about 2.30 p.m. Uh, that we ran into her here in uh, Utah. And her job interview is at 10 a.m. tomorrow somewhere in California. So we hope that uh, things go well for her. We hope she gets the job, you know. Uh, for, further tip to this too, we repaired her, or temporarily repaired her, uh, her radiator fluid reservoir. If you have a crack in your actual radiator, okay, a temporary fix is to crack an egg into your radiator. You take the cap off once the car is cooled down a little bit, relieve the pressure, crack an egg into it, uh, the egg will find the leak and plug it up until you can get to a proper service station to have it fixed properly. Isn't that crazy? I think that's crazy. Crazy like a fox, baby. Genius, I suppose. So, anyways, uh, we didn't even get her name, but, you know, if you're watching, let us know. 
<laughs> if this was you, we had the Vacation Impossible magnet on the side of the car, so I don't know, maybe she took a notice. Uh, we were more focused on trying to help her than promoting the channel. So now it's your turn to help us do that part. If you could click like, help other people discover this video, these kinds of tips could save them from a very sticky situation in the future. Yep. So, you know, uh, gain some... We also kind of want to find out what happened with her job interview. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm very curious. I wish I'd, like, thought to ask. So, spread the word, spread this out to as many people as you can, and hopefully it'll kind of organically get to her, she'll recognize it, come back to us, and let us know how it went. And uh, I'm also curious, have you had a roadside breakdown of any kind? Uh, and what did you do? Did you MacGyver it up a little? Do you have like uh, any ingenious solutions? Uh, let us know in the comments. Let us know like what kind of supplies do you always have in your car? Do you have duct tape? You know, a kitty litter is one of the things that people uh, say that they should have, depending on the parts of uh, uh, the country they're in and the weather they encounter. Um, you know, other things like that. Tool kits, obviously a spare uh, tire. Uh, you know, maybe a, a, a charger for jumping, other things. Uh, what do you have in your car, uh, particularly on a long road trip, and, and have you had a breakdown? What, what saved the day? What did you come up with? Uh, we're really curious. We just want to, you know, get more tips out there, help people be better prepared for their travels. So uh, thanks very much for watching, and uh, feel free to subscribe for more tips and crazy adventures as we travel all over this world. Thanks for watching.